Hi everybody, I feel like I'm on Gilligan's Island this week. I'm on an island, but it's not that one. The next half hour, we're gonna show you a very special place and a bunch of great big fat speckled trout. This is gonna be a real adventure. I'm really glad you're with us for this one. Fox Sports Outdoors is on the air right now. You're watching the only program with weekly fishing reports and real-time outdoor news from the Southeast region. This is Fox Sports Outdoors. On our show, we get to do some really cool stuff, but this could be one of the greatest adventures yet. We're coming to you this week from a very remote island off the Mississippi coast. In fact, this house is one of the few on the entire island. Welcome into Cat Island, Mississippi. It's a small island about seven miles south of Long Beach, Mississippi, right out in the Gulf of Mexico. You might be a little more familiar because it's a little bit to the west of Gulfport and Biloxi, Mississippi. It's got lots of character, lots of charm, lots of history. We're going to talk about that in the next half hour. But the main reason we're here is to go do some speckled trout fishing. And as you can see, I've got my Blazer Bay 2420 GTS already launched and ready to go with the Mercury 350 Verado hanging on the back of it. This boat is rigged out with all the goodies. It's a high, dry, stable ride, a fantastic platform to fish out of. It's rigged out with all the goodies and toys, everything you could possibly imagine on a fantastic saltwater, shallow water fishing boat. We're gonna go out and do some speckled trout fishing out of that this week. And while we're out doing that, we're taking you around your local region for this week's fishing reports from our expert team of insider reporters from lakes, rivers, and bays right where you live right now. The Blazer Bay 2420 GTS goes right out this canal. We're already on Cat Island, so we're just going to get out in the flats, start speckled trout fishing. Right now, let's get you started back at the studio and your weekend planner. These salooner tables are predicting fair game fish activity throughout both days this weekend. Peak game fish activity looks to be either early in the morning or late in the afternoon. Activity begins at 436 on Saturday morning and 501 in the afternoon. Sundays is similar with activity beginning around 5.15 in the morning and 5.40 in the afternoon. So plan to be on the water either early or late for the best action. Expect the sun to rise at 6.22 and set at 8.41 and evenings will feature a moon that is 77% visible. Stick around, we've got reports from across the area on the way, plus 2019 Bass Master Classic Champion Ott Defoe stops by to answer your Ask the Pro question. Back in a bit. Fox Sports Outdoors is brought to you by Lose, Feel the Difference, Gene LaRue and Bobby Garland, the best in bass and crappie lures, heads to tails, Glacier Glove, stay outdoors longer with our gloves, hats, and shades, Gulf Shores and Orange Beach, request our free 2019 fishing guide at orangebeach.com. This is my first trip here, and I can tell you already that I love this place. one hit my top water up on top look at that now he decided he wanted to fight there's a decent trout look at that dude yes big old trout there we go that's a big old fat dude right there all right welcome back everybody we are coming to you today from cat island mississippi this is my first trip here and I can tell you already that I love this place. And not just because I just caught this big old fat trout. That's a speckled trout for you. That's what we're fishing for today. And uh, we're here. There's the top one. There's my bait right there. Cigar type bait, dog walking bait. We're here with Sonny Schindler and Shore Thing Charters. They're showing us their favorite water to catch these trout in right here. There he goes. But here's what we're doing. I'm drifting across this big flat and I'm looking for small subtleties. That's what Sonny clued me into. So I'm setting up a drift upwind and I'm slowly drifting down this flat and it's about three and a half to five feet of water. And anytime I see a few baits flicking around, little shrimp or little small minnows, 
if I start seeing birds diving at the water, or if I'm watching my graph and I see the bottom either drop off or rise up a little bit. Any contour change or any little strip of grass, anything that's different, these fish will get on. So I find those kind of spots and I pull down with my power poles. In fact, my power poles are just critical for this application because you've got to be able to sit still, be real quiet, and then fan cast 360 degrees. And so I'm getting up here on the bow and I'm just making big long casts, keeping my rod tip high and I'm just walking the dog, walking that top water bait back and forth. Generally on a top water bait, man, if you can find one out here in the middle of all this open water, the biggest fish in the place will come and grab it. And that was a really nice one for this area right here. Hey folks, it's time for your Carolina's Report. This week brought to you by the Crazy System Marina, located on the Marsh Walk in Rolls Inlet, the leader in water sports. We can take care of all your needs out there. I tell you what, if you haven't been by our marina, you're along the Grand Strand this year, especially this summertime. I tell you what, come down and check out. Get down there around four o'clock, you're gonna see all our boats come back. Look at those great catches and book your trip. Visit crazysister.com for more information. I tell you what, it's June. Offshore bite really along the Carolinas has been kind of weird. The last couple weeks, we came through that full moon and the mahi-mahi, which were really good for a couple weeks, dispersed out. They're in that 80 to 100 foot of water, out to 800,000 foot of water. You know, the bait started dispersing and so did the dolphin. And also be ready because the man in the brown suit is out there as well. The cobia are, you know, made their way up. They've dispersed out in themselves and they're on these live bottoms and on these structures and you can catch a real big one this time of the year. This has been your Carolina's Report brought to you by the Crazy Sister Marina. Remember, fish smarter, not harder, and keep your chaos organized. There's one hit my popping cork. Right there in front. Come on in here, trout. Yeah, there's a trout. Okay. That's a decent. Oh, that's a fatty right here. I want to mention something to you that uh, Captain Sonny Schindler, who's helping us out on this trip, said that we are actually here right during the peak of, of the two, one of the two spawns, the two speckled trout spawns. They spawn once early summer and once in the fall. They actually spawn almost year round. But the two big spawns are early summer and in the fall, right on the full moons. And that's a good sized speckled trout. And you can see how fat that one is. That one's probably got eggs in it. Hit my little shrimp imitation right there. I'll show you all the gear at the end of the show. But these fish are actually up here in these times of the year laying eggs. And they, the way they spawn, I'm gonna throw that fish back. We're not keeping them today. That would make a couple of good fillets. The way they spawn is they free spawn those eggs up in shallow water, up in grass beds, and on uh, rocks, and on reefs. And those eggs have a sticky substance to them and they stick to whatever they touch. And then the males come in there, fertilize the water. Those eggs hatch and hopefully they hatch right in that grass or in those rocks in those shell reefs where they can have some protection from predators early in their life until they can get established. Then they move out into the marshes and uh, eventually repopulate. There's a pig right there, a little fatty for you. Spawning female up here spawning out on the outside edge of this grass. Boy, this is getting fun now. They're blowing up on my topwater bait. It's a good trout. Look at that dude. Wow. Beautiful. Wow, what a fighter. Man, we are catching them now. And what more fun way could there possibly be then catching them on that top water and watching them blow up on it. There's a pig right there, a little fatty for you. Spawning female up here spawning out on the outside edge of this grass. Go back. All right. Hey, let me uh, 
give you a little information. If this looks like fun to you, you can book that trip through Shore Thing Charter. Sonny Schindler and his group do a great job out here. Not only can you come fishing on a day trip out here, but they've got what they call the Cat Island Experience, where you can come out here and stay for two, three, four nights and days. You can fish during the day. They've got some beaches around here that you can hang out on. They've got not just a little shack or a cottage, but a beautiful house right on a canal, just uh, in the middle of Cat Island. So you go right in the middle of the island. You can book that trip and stay in the house. They provide all the meals they cook for you. Everything you could possibly want, it's all in included. It's an all-inclusive package for however many days and nights you want to book, but you can check them out on their website there at Shore Thing Charters. If you want to stay in like a little boutique type hotel, we've stayed in a place in Ocean Springs called The Roost. It's about 45 minutes up the road from here at Cat Island. Just a beautiful place. They've got beautiful rooms, uh, a bar, a little restaurant nearby within walking distance of a bunch of shops right there in Ocean Springs. Great place for a little weekend trip or a honeymoon, a couples getaway, something like that. Hey everybody, thanks for joining us this week for this week's Tennessee, Mississippi, and Alabama report. It's brought to you by Bass Mafia. Uh, go to mafiaoutdoors.com, check out their line of products that will step up your tackle storage game. Innovative products, technical products, the best products on the market. Check them out at mafiaoutdoors.com. Um, let's start in Alabama right now. We're gonna go Gunnersville. Let me tell you what has not been happening that got really hot in the last week or two, the nighttime bite at Gunnersville. Get you a big old Colorado blade. If there's no moon, throw black. If there is moon, throw gold or silver. Uh, in Mississippi, I gotta go back to Ross Barnett. That place is just happening. I'm getting tons of good reports there. Bass, bluegill, crappie, the whole nine yards. Uh, in Tennessee, uh, the nighttime bite on Center Hill is kicking up. It's that time, and, and it's, it's once again, it's big spinnerbait time. Real Foot Lake's also just crushing it right now. Uh, Real Foot Lake is catching, I mean, the guys over at Blue Bank Resort are just crushing the big crappie, the big bluegill, bass, catfish, anything you want. So uh, check them out at Blue Bank Resort. Come on down here, get you some of this. They're biting really good. We'd love to see you. God bless. Fox Sports Outdoors is brought to you by Motor Guide's wireless and easy to use XI3. Waypoint Marine, the Gulf Coast's leading saltwater boating specialist. Strike King, Taiwan On. Nitro Performance Fishing Boats, because champions aren't born, they're made. We're having ourselves a topwater rodeo today at Cat Island, Mississippi. We've had an incredible day. here and nailed it. Look at that dude. Every one of these are good trout. Oh yeah. They don't give up very easily either. Look at that big old mouthful of that top water he's got again. All right everybody welcome back. We are having ourselves a top water rodeo today at Cat Island, Mississippi. We've had an incredible day so far and that dude has got hooks everywhere look at that top water what a great fish every fish we've caught has been like this and i'll tell you we're having an, a unique type of a trip they're not <laughs> they're not all this big we're just having an extraordinarily good trip most of the fish you catch here they've got to be 15 the trout 15 inches long minimum 15 per person per day with a maximum of two days of a limit. So if you come out here and stay for four days, you can only keep two days of a limit. Minimum 15 inches long, and these suckers are, that, that's an easily 22 inch long trout. Put them back today. Away he goes. Well, let me tell you a little bit of the history that I know about Cat Island here. It's a very interesting place. In fact, up at the house, there's a pretty thick book that's nothing but the entire history of this island. It was discovered in 1699, and it went through several wars. It changed hands several times. One of the more interesting things is in World War II, they tried to train dogs to hunt Japanese. The U.S. Army tried to train these dogs to smell 
Japanese and it failed miserably. All they did was create a bunch of mean dogs that attacked every human in sight. But this whole area has got tons of history, tons of heritage, and tons of big old trout to boot. What a great place this is. The red snapper action is lit up all along the upper Gulf Coast. But first, this from our good friends at Foreshore Transportation. Foreshore Transportation, the simple solution to all your freight hauling needs. Foreshore can ship across the country or across the state. Whatever the load, wherever the destination, Foreshore gets it done fast, safe, and hassle-free. Well, I don't think red snapper fishing can get much better than it has been um, for the last few weeks. In two days, four of us caught our limits of uh, two red snapper apiece off the upper Gulf Coast, uh, off of, of reefs and artificial uh, wrecks uh, in 40 feet of water, very, very close to shore. Uh, the red snapper action is absolutely sensational. Some of these wrecks and reefs are very close to shore with the right kind of uh, weather. In addition to catching uh, red snapper around the reefs and wrecks off uh, Mississippi and Alabama, there's a number of cobia. We had a couple of shots of cobia, and we saw plenty of triple tail running to and from those wrecks offshore. In Georgia, uh, Menhaden are thick along the southeast coast. There's St. Simons Island. Uh, there's plenty of king mackerel and sharks feeding around those uh, Menhaden schools, and the tarpon fishing is good. Well, that's it for the southeast coast. Get out of the water and take a youngster with you when you go. Another good one, big one, another big one. Wow, look at this trout. One good thing about catching them on this top water is that they don't come off very easily. Look at that dude, look at that trout. Look at these trout, man, these are huge. Man, he's got a lot of top water in her spawning female. There we go. Look at this. Look at that. What a trout. Folks, I tell you, this has just been an incredible day. Let me tell you one interesting thing about Cat Island. This year has been a terrible year for the, for the Gulf Coast of Texas, Louisiana, and Mississippi because of the fresh water been so much rain across the southeast and southwest that all that water has run straight into the Gulf and it's diluted all the salt water and the salinity of the water has gone to almost nothing. It's almost fresh water in many places up and down the entire Gulf Coast this year. But an interesting thing about Cat Island is that there's always pockets of salt water around this island. Sonny was telling me, our, our guide, that uh, the way the currents run, and you can actually see it on a current chart if you look at it, is that uh, even when there's almost no salt out in the Gulf on either side of the island, for some reason these currents funnel this salt water in and they make it eddy and it just stays right in close to the island. So we're fishing real shallow up here not far off the shoreline and only two, two and a half foot of water right now with this top water and the salt content is real high and that's what sucks all these fish in here. Always watch our latest episode on the front page of our website at foxsportsoutdoors.com. Catch up on past episodes and learn about fishing techniques and new gear at our how-to page. Follow us on Facebook and Twitter for new fishing videos every day. Simply search for Fox Sports Outdoors and click the like button on Facebook and the follow button on Twitter. And watch a new episode every week on any device by downloading the free Waypoint TV app on your phone, tablet, computer, or smart TV. Fox Sports Outdoors is brought to you by Mercury, Go Boldly, Lorenz, America's number one fish finder, Balls Out, made in the USA, heavy duty mounts for your fish finders. Welcome back everyone, it's time for the Ask the Pro question. This week, Caleb would like to know, how do you balance your faith and work while being in an arena where it might not be the popular thing? For the answer, we asked your 2019 Bass Master Classic Champion, Ott Defoe, for an answer. For me, I honestly don't try to worry too much about balancing 
what I say as far as my faith is concerned. I'm a Christian, I believe in God, I believe Jesus rose from the dead to save us from our sins. And I'm not ashamed of that anywhere I go. You know, I, it may not be the first thing that I always say, but I wear that scripture on my jersey and I believe that as a Christian, it's my duty to share that with others. And if people don't wanna hear it, they just don't have to listen. But for me, I'm not gonna, it doesn't matter the setting that I'm in, if I have an opportunity to share that with someone, that's what I'm gonna do. Thank you, Ott. If you have a question for one of the pros, visit our website, click on the Ask the Pro link, and send it in. Let's check out the latest Big Catch of the Week winner. It's time right now for someone to have their big fish photo shown on television in the Big Catch of the Week contest. He's Jeremy Bolick of Charlotte, North Carolina, showing off a 30-pound striped bass he caught at Teleco Reservoir Dam in Tennessee. If you'd like to be our next winner, just go to our Facebook page at facebook.com slash Fox Sports Outdoors. Find last Tuesday's post about the big catch of the week. Follow the instructions to post your photo along with all the details about the catch and you just might be our next winner. Next up, here's the gear that we used to catch those big speckled trout this week, and it all begins with the best saltwater inshore combo offered by Luz. This is the Luz Mock Inshore Speed Stick Rod and Reel Combo Series, and it consists of, in this particular case, a seven foot casting rod and reel. Again, perfectly matched rod and reel together in the perfect action to work that topwater bait and a spinning combo as well. It's a seven foot, six inch medium action combo. Again, perfect for the popping cork that we use today as well. As far as the baits are concerned, that's a dog walking topwater. It did a great job of attracting those vicious strikes from those shallow trout this week. And this is the traditional popping cork with about a two and a half foot leader and a little shrimp tail on a lead head. That's the little plastic bait that we also caught some fish on as well. Have you ever been stuck? Had a decision that you needed to make and just couldn't make one? I've been there and it's pretty frustrating. Old timers call it riding the fence. But the real problem occurs when we get stuck for a long period of time and we permanently can't or won't make a decision. When that occurs, it's time to make one and live with it. It's time to think, pray, listen to wise counsel from those that we trust and those that we know love us, make that choice and then live with it. Most of the time, it's much better than not making a decision at all. I hope you enjoyed our trip this week to Cat Island, Mississippi. If you'd like to book your own trip and come experience what we experienced on this week's episode, you can actually stay here on Cat Island. You can book that through Shore Thing Charter, Sonny Schindler's company, or you can just book a day guided fishing trip up and down the Mississippi coast. He's got several places he can go, but in particular, you can stay overnight at their house here on Cat Island. Get all the information you see there on your screen. Thanks for joining us this week. We really enjoyed catching these big old speckled trout. We'll see you next week. Until then, from Cat Island, Mississippi, I'm Barry Stokes. Be safe, have fun. Bye-bye, y'all.